Hello everybody, welcome to IT Skills channel. My name is Aiden. In today's video, we're going to take a look at couple Active Directory feature. This is going to be implementing remote server administration tool called RStat for short. And that's what we're going to do. The first thing is first, you can install any management capability you like through PowerShell or through Server Manager. In this video, as you can see, we went ahead and downloaded basically our Windows Admin Center tool from Microsoft using bits transfer. And after that, we went ahead perform MSI version to install that. I know you could see that, and this is simply the command for that. And we did that, and I decided, you know what? Why not make a video about this? Let's record it and show it to everybody. And a lot of times when you're dealing with the administration in IT, you need to learn how to automate things, how to do things faster, not slower. And this is one of the ways you could technically go ahead to the AKA MS slash download over here, which we can go. You could go ahead and spend the time to download it, to go ahead and install it, double click it. But you could also run it a two command. So in here, if you go here, you can see it takes you to the side, it's downloading it. Or you want you could go ahead and just run those two simple command and it will basically do it for you. And that's what the whole purpose of administration is all about. So now let's go back. We're going to get on and we're going to go to the Microsoft Edge site and we're going to go to this site over here. Let's make sure that it's blank. We're going to go to the Contoso website. This is the Windows Admin Center default homepage because we already installed it. We're going to hit in, in continue. Now that we did continue, we're going to click on the type in the username and then password. This is the default if we can configure Windows Admin Center. You can see it's working. It's tell us what's new with Windows Admin Center. Currently, Windows Admin Center has 23.11, which is updated for Windows 11. It does have, I know, iGerarch support now. So it does have a, a lot of capabilities. And you can see right now we're only managing our current server. We're not managing anything else. And uh, you can see still doing a lot of upgrade updates in the background, which is fine. And let me make sure that I, I get the resolution here a little bit out of the whack over here. Let me fix the resolution because it's doing so much over here. It's doing extension, storage replica. It's basically going ahead and updating all the extension right now. So, which is great. You definitely want to see that. But let me quickly go ahead in here. And mess with my re resolution because I don't like the resolution right now. 16 by 9 might be ideal or may not, might not be ideal. It's starting to look good over here. All right, let's go back here. All right, that's fine. We're going to leave it like that for now. So now that we did, went ahead and actually accessed Windows Admin Center, we update, it's updated all the extension. We're going to hit OK. And now you can see here, that's our server for now. And we want to go ahead and actually go through things here before we do the couple things we're gonna add another service we're gonna hit add we're gonna add a server we can add a cluster we can add Windows client PC we can add an actual server in this case we're gonna add a server and then we're gonna have to type in the server name or if we have a list we can import that or we can search in Active Directory so we can add a server over here by default it's not happy with our credential we're gonna have to provide another credential and we're going to have to put in our credential and then put in our credential password and we're going to hit add a server or we can click on where it says add with credential and this will allow us to add the server with that credential you can see that the server is added and uh, one showing up the last time you connected and the other one is showing us right now you never connected it so that is a gist of it so now you can see windows server where windows admin center allow us to manage multiple servers and clients and we can see the state is we can do anything we want to do and right now this is the bare metal if you will configuration we didn't do anything major to it we literally just uh, installed the windows admin center after downloading it and then we are now when logged into it for the first time so now what we need to do is we're going to come over here to click on the, the server over here it's going to connect from this point on, this is our settings. We can click on settings. 
first it's gonna, it's gonna give us overview the overview is everything the server has disk storage memory performance io ultra you can shut it down you can restart it it says the server has a random pending reboot which we need to perform if we want to be in a good grace of windows admin center but that's something we can do but the other thing we could do is to come over here to the settings we can come over here certainly start to install extension we can start to do a whole lot of things for under settings so right now we got a couple of things under settings and we can also click on the gear icon and that will get us to additional settings here and in fact from here on you can click on the gear icon click on extensions and we could install all this type of extension right now so we're going to want to install extension called security preview so click on here security preview and then we're going to go ahead and actually right click install it's installing now there you go it's installed so that's simply how we can install extensions to help you manage your servers in accordance to how you want them if you want you can also go ahead and install server roles and other features windows admin center is almost like a a tool that it shouldn't even exist yet it's so powerful you have to be careful who you give it access to because they can give they can go ahead and do anything that you would do in the gui except in here they can do it faster and they could do it much more lethal and that's why it's only designed for server administrator not for everyday everyday user now let's connect back to our home page we're going to connect our newly added server the dc1 seattle dc1 click in here it's to connect to we have to click on username and we have to supply the username and password type in the username and password and then click in here and we're going to say use this credential for all connections so we don't have to continuously type this hit continue now you can see we connected to the server we're getting additional preview if you will so now that we're here we got couple option here we're gonna need to install couple feature just to show you what we got going right now we got click on installed app we're gonna see not a whole lot and if you click on dns for example we don't have a whole lot so we're gonna want to install the rstat dns tool and anything you want to do is really if you want to do dhcp whatever you want to do you're just going to come over here to like roll on the left hand side like we're doing and we're going to hit install so let's go back to dns and we're going to hit install this should take a matter of seconds and it should install the dns rstat tool there you go we got our dns installed now we can manage dns records we can add new records this is becoming almost too easy if you will it's almost like if a game you're playing and uh there's a new hack for it or a new batch for it and now that batch makes it you easily defeat the grand in main characters or the toughest of the toughest in evil characters and this is what feels like microsoft we at for a long time as an admin we've been struggling to see if we could go ahead do something and uh, i would say right now the struggle has paid off and uh, it makes things a lot better a lot easier for us and so let's come over here let's continue on we got other things we want to do under tools and you can see we got a lot of things going on if we click on tools overview you can see basically there's not a whole lot come over rules and future for example we have done we can install all this are available to be installed some of them are installed and so we can install uh, roles and features just like you would normally go to the server manager under here you would go ahead add roles and features and then you can click on next and next and then select where you want to install the role and feature tool for in this case we can select here and then we can find out the role if you want to do it or we can do feature in this case we can come over here find the feature what's called telnet client so we do the same thing on here so we want to go ahead and scroll down to where we can see our feature here is a feature the goodness about this portal is though it does mix both of them together so you won't have to struggle I, should, should i sort for future or roles you just simply can do it so now if i click here select it drop down menu or click on the selected 
Now and then you can just hit install. It will tell you you are about to install a feature, calculating the dependencies, and I could hit it to require a reboot after install installing. I don't want to do that. It's a talent feature. It should not require reboot. And then we're going to hit yes. Continue installation. And it goes on to install it. All right, we did that. And it worked perfectly because if you go back to server manager, click on add roles and features, click here. You can see that the telnet feature should be added now. It is added. Other ways you can see that is if you need to do this and you just want you have access to Windows Admin Center, you can come over here to add roles and features or click on installed and find that page over here. That's the performance metrics. We're still getting a lot of things here, but if you come and scroll down here where it says telnet feature, you can see it says installed. That's ultimately what you have to do. Next thing is now you have to do and you want to do is how in the hell can you remote it into the server? Because not every time you're going to be able to access the server through here or you want to do something a little bit more robust. And that is how you have to RDP into the server. So to do that, in the past, you have to come over here, type in MSDSC, and then after that, you supply the server name and you hopefully remember what the server name is called and you log in. But in within those admin banner, you can come over here to basically home menu, click on the server you want to manage. And then from that point on, you could still come over, come over here all the way to where it says remote desktop. And then you simply provide the credentials. And then obviously connect with the certificate presented by this machine. You choose that and confirm and hit connect. It says here remote desktop connection for this feature is not installed. And that is fine. And we can come over here to this. Here, come over here to the remote desktop connection. And we need to allow that. So we're going to click on click on here. Allow remote desk, remote connection to this computer. And we're going to hit save. And that's how we had to do it. Now we can come back to here. And then type in our credential once more. We just didn't enable the feature. Or ability to allow connection to the server. Now we just did that. We're going to go ahead. And we're now connect. We're not connected to the server right now, but if we click on connect now, it should technically connect to us. There you go. It's a server core. It's connected. It's happy. It's amazing. We got it. And that's what we got to do. And we so good, right? If we have to do a review, all we did in here so far is we went ahead, installed the Windows Admin Center tool. After that, we added the server. We went ahead, installed a couple features and roles. After that, we went ahead connected to the server here. That's all you get out of this video so far. And that is a lot of times makes life better for an IT systems admin, etc. So now we want to go ahead and click on step option 15. Say that we could not do something in Windows Admin Center and we want to do it here. You can come up to option 15 and then we're going to enter a command right now. To enter the command, it's simply couple things you want to do you could type in the command or you simply could do you don't you could do a couple commands and you can go from there but right now i'm going to get out of here and go back to our powershell minimize the web browser and similarly i could do similar thing here where we can just type in the command we can type this command and this command will allow us to establish the same thing we did on the windows admin center we can type this command enter ps session Computer names, DC, Seattle, DC1. If we hit enter this command, obviously, if we can get our copying right, this command will allow us to manage or run PowerShell tools from that server specifically. So you don't have to remote into every server or switch to every server. We could say technically do that. In this case, what we want to do is what? We want to get a simple application ID service if it's running or not. So if you want to do that, we can simply come over here and then hit enter. This is checking the server, Seattle DC1, not my current server. Because if I check on my current server, you will see that it's not exactly that Seattle server. So if I do host name, it's telling me I'm connected to that server because right now, even though I'm RDPing into another server. So if I come over here to the file, 
properties you can see this is actually my computer i'm connected to i'm actually using to manage the other servers seattle admin but then it tells me that i'm basically in another server so let's come over here let's continue other thing we can now do is because we are in powershell we can do ultimate we can do ultimate taboo or we can make life better for us in this case we can start the service because the service is stopped right now we can see that the service is currently stopped on the top if we do this and then if you go back up right now you can see the service is running application identity is running one more thing before that is that right now basically this is another way of performing and doing amazing work with windows admin center using our stat tool i hope you enjoyed this video because i certainly enjoyed it it's really refreshing to see that and this is something i'm trying to bring more of the new it guys into the fold in our life back in the days was harder your life shouldn't have to be harder when it comes to managing servers this is one of the ways where it can make your life a lot easier just find a way to utilize windows admin center and make it work for you because it has also integration with a defender for cloud as you can see after you sign into azure you can see certificates you can do so many cool things over here azure monitor obviously event log which is great how many times have you run into an issue and you didn't know or you didn't access the event log or you just forgot about it and now it's a perfect way to do it if you want to sort it let's just say event 4 event 40 47 68 sorted for 47 68 to do this customization in this in the event log feature it can be harder but within the windows admin center you're talking about literally in a matter of seconds you sorted all the event to that and you can read the event what it's doing and etc you can also check take a look at the dns events it's not at the moment any or you can look at the forwarded events if there's any you can look for security events to see who's logging in what's going on and then you can look for application events so forth you got all slew of options and you can click on powershell events who the hell did what to powershell you can figure out all the stuff again it's amazing we'll make another video because this is the part one of it and if you like this type of video please stay tuned because i'm excited i want to continue doing more of these videos for you guys and in order to do that your support will help sounds good thank you guys have a great rest of the day peace